you would think that China would not do a big thing, but it's, a constant series of small things that people get accustomed to. Yeah. You know, cyber warfare, they would start, you know, hacking into Google servers, Amazon servers, crash everything, yeah. financial disruption, yeah. crash power grids. Do it slow. Yeah. Do it over decades. You got plenty of time. As long as you don't know, nuke United States first, they're not going to nuke That's you. Right. They're not going like to. We already did that once. Yeah. We're not going to do that. Yeah. If anybody is going to be a first bomber, it's not going to be us. It's not going to be us. Yeah. There's no way. Yeah, that's a problem. That, that that's a strategic problem. Yeah, because we're all worried about Putin. We're like, what if Putin gets back to the corner? What if Ukraine starts winning? What if you? Could, what if this? What if that? What if Putin really does have cancer? What if he decides to go out with a bang? Like we're worried about that. Hmm. No one's worried. What if Biden just nukes China? What if Biden's like, what's his TikTok? You don't want to talk? You don't want to talk? You don't want to tell us about the code? How about this? Boom! Never, never. We would never think that the Biden administration would go and nuke someone. Never. And it's, they know that. And because they know that, they're comfortable. Yeah. So that you could do sneaky things. Yeah. I would do sneaky things. If I was China or Slowly if I was Russia or if I was Iran, yeah. if I was some country that didn't like us, I would do sneaky things. So is that the concern with TikTok? Oh, yeah. There was some fascinating conversations today. Because it uh, looks like with, they're going to ban it. For sure, they're not telling the truth. Mm. Like, the way this CEO was talking to the senator today is like, oh, my God. It's like they just want to say whatever they have to say to get out of there. Wow, like, he doesn't say? answer the questions. <laughs> he dances around, and the, the senator keeps trying to say, that's a yes or no question. Right. That's a yes or no question. Yeah. Like, these dudes have been sending data to China from day one. Yeah. And they're doing something with that data. They're yeah. accumulating. They're finding out how coordinated our kids are. Yeah. They, they got facial recognition on That's all of them. That's what the dances are about. They're just trying to find out how coordinated. Imagine. Bro. Wow. Every TikTok trend is just a little bit of a little information about our youth. Hmm. I'll also, how easily, like, led they are. You could get them to that app. Well, cloud is the currency. It's clout, but it's yeah. they have so many things going for them. First of all, it's very easy to get a big following there. Mm -hmm. It's very easy to get shared. It feels. You can blow yeah. up, so that gets people excited about it and they use it. And yeah. it's genuinely a really good portal for creativity. Like some people do some interesting oh, shit dude, on there. It's amazing. It's I'm this is I almost think it's our fault it's successful because we didn't think of it. Yeah. Like we need some responsibility here. Like why is another country coming up with the best form of social media? That's on us. We dominated social. That's we, Adam Curry's theory. What did he say? Adam Curry doesn't believe it's any different in the way it gathers data than what the American It's just a media better platforms. distributor of that data. He just thinks that, no, this is just China kicking our ass, yep. and we want to stop them from doing that. Yeah. That we're not doing things that are that much different than what yeah. they're doing. Yeah. I don't know if that's true. Well, I don't know. It's I, just Adam is very smart, though. Yeah, no, I think that there's something to that. It's like you want to win the culture war, and we've done that so well, right? Like we had all these movies, these TV shows that like shared our culture around the world, and our culture was romantic. It's sexy. You oh go watch God. fucking Top Gun. Yeah. You go watch Maverick, and you're just like, oh, my God, how yeah. amazing is it to be American? How right? about when Rocky wins with American Ugh. shorts on? Ugh. Got American flag shorts the on? Best. Away game too, you know what I mean? Like over there the running Russians in the snow. Like, yeah. <laughs> if we can change, <laughs> you can change. <laughs> we all change. Thirty years later, same uh, fucking problem. Same fucking problem. <laughs> Bro, I remember when that problem went away. I wait, remember really? when the wall came down. We were so relaxed. It was amazing. Wait, wait, wait. Take me back to this. So there's right, a time see, when I was in high school. Yeah. Okay, in the 1980s. I went. I was in. I was a freshman in 1981. And back then, we were terrified of war with Russia. It was a terrifying fear of a nuclear war with the Soviet Union. And break this down to me. So it's like, is it you're you're watching the news and they keep? Is there like fear mongering? Do you believe it? Does it feel like propagandist? Hundred percent. There was fear mongering. Hmm. Um, there was a, a there was de look. It's always been. If it bleeds, it leads yeah. in the news. Yeah. You know, we talk about how bad the news is today, but the reality is, like, 5 o'clock news, when you get home from work, it was always the worst shit that happened. Double homicide in yeah. Brooklyn. Yeah, yeah. It's always the worst shit of the day. And also out of perspective, because it's the worst shit out of millions and millions of people, right? 
but the big one was always Russia. Mm-hmm. And you would see the Soviet Union and you know, you would see their leaders and you would see their army and it was terrifying. Yeah. They were the last great communist empire. Yeah. You know, before China, yeah. right? Before China really blew up militarily. Yeah. Back then we weren't worried about China. Everybody was worried about the Soviet and Union. You felt fear. A hundred percent. I talked to my wife and fear. she's younger than me and she felt the same thing. And some of my other friends uh, I asked them, they grew up in different parts of the country, and they were like, oh, yeah, everyone was scared, scared of the fucking Russians, man. Like, there was all those movies like Red Dawn, where the Russians invade, we yeah. kick their fucking ass, yeah, yeah, send yeah. them back home. Yeah. You know, that was what everybody was afraid of. And then the wall fell. And so when the wall fell and the Soviet Union collapsed, mm. we have to realize, like, that was a monumental change in the world. Yeah. People relaxed. Yeah. Look, we relaxed. I was like, thank God. There's no more war anymore. So what year is this? What was the year was the uh, collapse of the wall? What what year did they blow? The, I want to say. I want to say eighty nine, ninety. So then the nineties comes on, and then in what the, year was it, Jamie? Eighty nine. Okay, so nineties. So the nineties come along, and no one's worried about war anymore. Yes. Is there a cultural apathy? Because well, the nineties bad things were made in the 90s some of the worst american cars that have ever existed were made during the 90s we got real sloppy in the 90s i look at like one of the things i look about with america like how in tune america is is what's their cars like what's their cars like so space race produces some of the most beautiful cars ever. space race and psychedelic drugs so space race is what correlation 60s yes so you have all the cars that are coming out 50s too 50s 60s 63 was when kennedy says yeah, yeah, we want to yeah, put the yeah, first yeah, man yeah. on the moon so they're using all that crazy space influence or like spaceship influence on the cars and not, there's no restrictions right not like, much not much space influence really i uh, mean some of these big like what is it the big cadillacs and stuff like mm-hmm. that they look like a fucking spaceship they do. right? yeah the old ones and there was no restrictions yeah. right like you didn't have to go okay it has to have this much gas mileage right or none of that you could no just make bags. whatever the fuck you wanted yeah. to make and then Okay, so that goes away, and then psychedelics are seventies. Well, psychedelics are sixties. Oh yes. And then the seven in 1970, they passed this sweep, sweeping Schedule One psychedelic act that makes all those drugs Schedule One forbidden drugs. All the drugs that are non-toxic, like psilocybin, like things that your body makes, like dimethyltryptamine, all, the, all those things That's become DMT. Yeah, all those yeah. things become Schedule One, and then. Automobile design drops off a fucking cliff. I mean, drops off That's a cliff. Funny. 